What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys how to locate and view log files in Linux. So as a new Linux user, it may be confusing on how you should troubleshoot different programs in the Linux operating system. If you want to know where the log files are located in, let's say Ubuntu or CentOS. So in this video, I'll attempt to show you guys how to view and locate those files. And if you didn't know, all the log files are located under vor, vor slash log directory. And within some subdirectories, depending on what applications you have in there, they'll create a different directory under that directory where log files are stored. And by default, you need to be either the root user or a pseudo user to view and access these logs on most Linux operating systems. There are a couple different commands that you can use to actually view the log files, like less, more, and a cat command as well as tails. So I wanna go down and go through and show you guys where these log files are located and how to actually view them right fast. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my terminal up and I'm SSH'd into a Ubuntu 20.04 server. As you can see right here, it's 20.04 uh, LTS, well, dot one LTS. And I wanted to go down and take you guys to the log directory. That way we could check out the log files. So I'm a CD to that directory. So CD uh, for log and press enter. And then let's go down and LS this directory. Well, let's clear right fast. And then let's LS this directory so you guys can see everything. Boom. And as you can see, Pretty much these are all the logs that are for the system and the main logs i wanted to show you guys was let's see d message is like the main log file which has all the generic log files in it and mainly system related stuff and then also i wanted to show you guys a, a couple more but uh the authentication logs are located right here and you might be confused by these ones that have GZ on them. Uh, well, these are archives of the logs. So sometimes you have to go through and delete these archives to make room on your system. If Because over time, you know, you'll eventually fill up with a whole bunch of logs in here. And you can go down and delete them out uh, if they're not needed anymore. But this is the current authentication log until it fills up to the set size that it's supposed to before it archives it. And then also here are the kernel logs. So they are stored in kern.log. And also if you have cron, which I don't think I have cron running, but I know the logs used to be in here. Uh, the cron logs are normally stored here. And it might be because I'm not using cron on this system. And there are a couple other logs in here. Sometimes they'll show like, like if you have MySQL installed on the system, it'll have a MySQL log. Um, and like a Apache log is normally stored under HTTPD log, which actually has the access and error logs for Apache. And then also under the app directory, you should see that, but this is a Ubuntu server. So it uses app as the package manager. Well, within the app directory, that's where the logs are for the app program. So when things are installed, you know, they, there's a log for it. So actually, let's go to that directory right fast and show you what's in there. So let's ls. And as you can see, like in the history, let's go down and cat this out. And this is what I mean by showing you guys how to actually view it. I'm going to just use the cat command. Uh, and then let's look at the history of this log. And it shouldn't be too big yet. And it's not. And so pretty much this is the app upgrade log, uh, as you can see. This was the last time I ran an update on this system, which was actually today. I did an upgrade. So every time you do an up, a upgrade to the system, that's logged here in this location. So, And this is a fairly new system. That's probably why I don't have much on it. But that's basically how you look at it. And you can see every package that was updated last time I did the upgrade. So let's go down and clear this right fast. 
and I'm gonna see the up one directory and then ls again because I wanted to go down and run uh less on the D message. And here are all the generic logs. So pretty much everything. Uh, like if you plug something into the system, let's say you plug in a USB device into this system, uh, it'll have a record of it in here. Uh, and so you can go through and try to search and find different things. If you're trying to troubleshoot something, like for instance, when I brought up, you know, plugging in some USB or USB drive, uh, you can see if there's like a fail, like if it's a failure while the drive is not coming up, then you, a lot of times the log will be in here. And so you could check it out and see what's going on when plugging in a USB drive. And then let me press Q to quit. And also I wanted to show you guys the authentication logs. And I've shown you this in another video where I was talking about setting up SSH, uh, like fail to ban. Uh, fail to ban actually use the authentication log to ban IP addresses that are attempting to access your server via SSH. So if we look into the SSA server, you'll see that I actually, if we go down to the bottom of the file, you can see that I logged into it. I'm not gonna go, well, yeah, here's the end of it right here. But I'm SSH into to, to this system. Uh, and you can see where I connected and logged out. I think I logged into this thing a couple of times. So, uh, but this is where the authentications happen. Or every time something else, it, someone is authenticated on the system, it's logged here. So let's go and press Q for that without it app. But that's pretty much how you look at all the log files. And like I said, they got six logs in here. So you can go through and look at them, you know, less those out. Let me less out the, the uh, sys log. And there you go. You can go through and look at that log as well. But that's pretty much how you, you know, Look through the logs and see if there's anything you can that's causing you issues. Then you can, you know, check in the log files to see if you can fix it or find a solution. Now, the next thing I want to do is show you guys on a actual system how to look at the log files. So just give me one second. I'll be right back. OK, cool. So I just want to bring up like a newbie style distribution. And this is Zorn OS, which is. A pretty simple distribution to use so I just wanted to show you that some of the tools that they have in a lot of these different uh, easy to use distributions so in this distribution they have what they call logs so all we have to do is type in logs and that'll bring up our logs and then you can go through and actually look at all the different laws in the system so if we click all you know this is kind of like that system manager for windows you can go through and look at the or task manager you can look at the logs the system manager they have logs in there and windows it's pretty much the same thing and it goes through and shows you you know services that have been stored it uh, applications you know all that good stuff so you can go through and check it out for yourself um but this is one of the ways you can view the logs as well versus going into to the terminal and looking through you know all those different log files it kind of you know condenses it put it all you know together into one you know easy to use gui application where you can go through and just view all the logs and if you click like right here this security log so this is when you log in and all that stuff so and hardware log so if you're trying to you know figure out some hardware issue you know you can look through the logs or whatever here and then it opens up using showing you the important logs. So these are, you know, logs that are kind of very important or are flagged as important. So this is a cool way. You know, I'm actually looking at all the logs, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps someone that's new getting into Linux and they want to understand how to actually view the logs. Uh, you can either, you know, go through the command line and look at these logs or you can you know, open up the GUI if you have a desktop environment. And it's kind of hard for me to go through all the different distributions. That's why I just went on this Zorn OS, because I haven't showed it on my channel in a while. I really like Zorn OS uh, for people that are just getting into it, as well as the Pop OS, which is made by System76. You might want to check that out as well. 
But please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, keep it techy.